whether it be you or a surgeon or, or an artist, we all go through this mental time when we set up our stuff and we click into a gear. And for me as an artist, it takes me to another place. I will line up the markers strategically from white to black. Same with paints, same with brushes, same with water, same with sponges, everything that I use, I line it up like a surgeon. When I'm working on that, I'm clicking into this different place, this different gear, mentally, spiritually, and by the time I have all of my equipment lined up just the way that I want it organized so that when I'm ready to go, I don't even have to think about where this brush is or where that color is. I just start to grab it and then it all unfolds. It's all about capturing something in its space, let's say an inanimate object, like an industrial object, and then taking it from there, bringing it back into the studio with adding transparencies and some textures and some paint, and then reshooting the entire composition, um, blowing it, at it up to the scale that I felt it should be. And then the last step was painting over it and then sending it out to the fabrication facility to be mounted on aluminum archivally. That thread has been woven throughout the entire 30-year career, and it's just um, strengthened and intensified as we've moved from place to place or I've gone from one area to another. I think the industrial cities really resonate the most with me, and that's why finding myself here in Pittsburgh, it's just everything has come alive and everything has blossomed. I see the next 10, 20 years expanding on that and moving to all the other significant industrial cities like Cleveland and Detroit and Philadelphia and then the Midwestern roots and really being able to tell a story of what is important with each particular city.